coin ops diamonds three showing us Ooh, you so fancy yeah that's right this front end is pretty darn neat now be forewarned that if you want the ultimate collection this isn't for you but if you just want a stunning and i mean stunning front end for an arcade or a bar top or you know whatever you run at your computer this is definitely one not to be overlooked this new cascading cabinet has multiple video snaps playing at the same time don't tell me this isn't awesome because it is freaking awesome so let's go ahead and jump into it the main difference between these shortcuts is the amount of categories you have so these are the categories you get with the definitive arcade as you can see it's the most simplified of all of them Moving into just arcade. You get, you know, the second model, laser disc, you actually get the different publishers. And then you also get the same arcade sets as well. So it's a pretty it's a lot more extensive version, but no consoles. Um, and then as far as this one, arcade simplified. So this is not gonna have consoles. Um, it gets rid of, uh, it's interesting that it keeps Capcom and Neo Geo in there, but it, it just has these as your primary ones. Now arcade and console, um, this is gonna be a ton of collections. It's gonna take you forever to scroll through all of them, watch. So classic, Super Nintendo, the different consoles, more consoles, more consoles, publishers, and the arcades. So that's like everything. That's the most comprehensive list. And I'm just scrolling up and down to, to get through these menus. I'd probably go with this one if it was me personally. Arcade and consoles simplified. Because I don't need, this way I'll have my individual systems and then my arcade systems and that's it right so consoles about halfway through about 10 or 12 and then your arcade games so let's just hit all here and uh this is just a wall theme right now i believe let's change this to cascading wall i think that one looks really cool now i'm on a very fast gaming laptop it has like an i7 and a 2060 R G uh, RTX on it. So I like this one. I think it just looks cool, the way it slides. I think a lot of people who are going to be getting coin-ops diamonds, you're putting this into a bar top, you know, some sort of arcade cabinet. And then remember, you can trade, so let's go to Super Nintendo. We still got our consoles, too. So if you're wondering, the game is in the lower right-hand corner, the box art. I mean, this is really cool how it's simultaneously playing the videos. It was funny, I was reading a comment and somebody was saying like, oh, I have like over, I forget what they said, but like for somebody who gets overstimulated, this is probably not a good build for you. So let's try Contra. So remember wondering what exactly comes with it. So Nintendo, we got a total of 20 games here. And you can see in the lower right hand corner how many games are in each collection. We go up to Nintendo 64, we click in. We got a total of five games here. There you go. You go up again to Laserdisc. It's also your Daphne. Uh, there you go, five games. I mean, this is really cool. I mean, this has got to be... Like this, the old school, just the system was based on video, right? So just to have these videos here is just so cool. Tell me this isn't Retro Bliss right here. Genesis. We got 130 games, so I'm not going to go through all of them, but a lot. Um, looks like the game names on this particular um, 
is on the top. So PC games, there's none on here. It's just ready for you. Nintendo GameCube. Total seven games. Dreamcast. So 13 games. Nice little collection of games. So you got Neo Geo Classics. You got 102 Neo Geo games. Capcom Classics. Looks like your CPS 1, 2, and 3 systems. So you got 72 games. Looks like you use your bumpers at the top to jump between letters. So I'm jumping between letters right now. All right, and then you have your arcade sport games. Um, I'm not gonna go through each collection here. We'll just go to arcade all, and then you'll see how many arcade games are on this build. 793. And, uh, you know, this isn't the ideal way to look for a game, right? You would wanna, you know, figure out what game you, if you wanna beat em up, you'd go to beat em ups, and then you would find the game you want, like Alien Storm, great game. You boot it up, it's gonna load MAME for you. Your control should be good to go. I'm using an 8-bit Doe controller right now, SN30 Pro Plus, and uh, I really like that. The, the, uh... This channel. This channel. As far as file size, it's about 63 gigabytes to download and then when it's all extracted, it's about 80 gigabytes here, as you see. Um, you have about five different shortcuts that you can uh, get into. We'll check all those out in a moment. And uh, games for Windows looks like they are going to allow you to add games for Windows. Those are going to be like your Cuphead, uh, your Tetris Attack, stuff like that. Um, now, as far as collections, you'll notice there's lots of... You know, arcade, arcade old school, there's some like sub genres and then there's also some makers and some actual um, specific consoles or systems as well, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. But if you notice, this list is not nearly as uh, comprehensive as uh, CoinOps 2 and so, or CoinOps Next 2. So CoinOps Next 2 is probably going to be your best bet if you're trying to get like the ultimate collection, you know, multiple terabytes of all your backups, right? All your different consoles and games. This one's more set up for an arcade experience. So it looks like it is about a total of 400 console games. So remember that this is the plus version. There is just a CoinOps Diamonds 3 if you don't want the extra ROMs for the consoles and you just want the arcade, go with that. Now, this is just gorgeous. It's freaking amazing. Now, is it going to be my primary driver? Probably not. But, like, if I was to have a standalone uh, bar top or arcade or whatever, uh, I would definitely throw this in there. Um, or, you know, something from my tank stick or the Atari stick from Micro Center or something like that. This would be great. This would be awesome. Um, but two thumbs up. I mean, the Coin Ops Peep just makes some beautiful stuff. I mean, this seems really novel. But it's also really cool to see multiple video snaps going at the same time. It runs really smooth. Uh, setting it up is a breeze. And uh, it's just really user friendly in, in, in my opinion. So another great option for you guys out there. Um, let me know what you all think. That's what I think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.